our tour. Today is a very important day in your life. And as your cousin, otherwise known as Cousin Pops, <laughs> it's my pleasure on behalf of the family to present to you your Talit. Thank you. And as, as I present you this Talis, this Talit, and we're going to also give, your, give you your tefillin, I would like to make a few comments and words to you about today. Today is a very important day in your life. It's your bar mitzvah, and it means that you're the son of good deeds. But really what this is, is a continuation of door the door. It's a continuation of generations to generations. Или как это там называется? Мойша, the man of Pharaoh, that he sent the Jews out of his prison country, and Pharaoh refused. So God brought the plagues on Egypt. At one point, Pharaoh was almost ready to let them out. But first, he asks, Mi va mi him? Exactly who is going? Moshe answers, Pianareinu uviskineinu nele. We will go with our young people, and with our old people, with our sons, and with our daughters, with our sheep, and with our flocks, for we are celebrating festival of God. The modern Soviet Union and ancient Egypt, one a mirror of the other. Prisons where no one has been free to raise his children as he wishes, to work at a job he wants, to live where he desires, to come and to go freely. On Pesach we say, if God had not taken our fathers from Egypt, then we and our children and our children's children would all be slaves to Pharaoh. That is exactly how Jews and everyone felt in Russia. We thought we will never get out of here. And suddenly, here I am in Nashville, Tennessee. I never heard about Nashville, Tennessee. Rabbi's a rabbi no matter what happens. <laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> we've had, thank God, many, many bar mitzvahs. And many very, very nice bar mitzvahs. And we're very proud of every one of them. I don't think we have ever had anything quite like this. Uh, Arthur spoke of his hope is prayer that he make people proud of him one day, he made people proud today. About four months ago, September, October, November, December, January, about four months ago, this boy did not know what an Aleph looked like. He never saw one in his life. And today, he read from the Torah. 
Now, I didn't want his family to know about it because I wanted Noah to get a heart attack at Dakota when he starts reading it that way. But I assure you, there are very few people who are able to do what he did this morning, starting from scratch four months ago, to be able to read his section of the Torah, and it was a sizable one comparatively, and to do it with a competence and the confidence that he had was marvelous. And I, I was very impressed myself, and I hope we'll keep on being proud and prouder and prouder all the time. This little siddit is a little gift for you from the shul. Ta-da. Pajalista. Artur, Hashem gave you many important gifts in your mind, character, and so on. You are using them in a beautiful way. But remember, no matter how great your gifts are, you have to develop them. Use your mind for good purposes, for your own growth, as being a good Jew. Use your mind for good purposes to help make the world a better place. Whatever your occupation is ever going to be, always remember that your gifts were given for you to use for others, and you will be the first one to benefit from that as well. God bless you and your family with everything good now and forevermore.